Colts, and welcome to this episode on how to use Final Cut Pro, workflow, and organizing your files. So today I'm just going to be showing you a few things on what I would do uh, to make it far easier for me to create content and videos. Uh, I start with a folder, uh, as you can see on my desktop, I just throw everything on my desktop of what I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm going to show you there's uh, a MP4, um, which are all of my videos. I've got um, a bunch of JPEGs, which are still images, and then I have a, a WAV file here or an MP3. Uh, in this case, it's the music that I'm going to be using for my project. And I've got all of those in this one folder on my desktop to make it really easy for me. I will open up Final Cut Pro, and the first thing that you want to do is know that your library is here. This is all of the files that are going to be in your library. These are editing screens, this is your timeline down here, and these are your options for all of your clips. So I start off by creating a new document each time. I start with a new library and I'm just going to uh, say how to use Final Cut. That's my library, and then I'm gonna have to create um, my actual video project as well. But over here, you notice that I've got some options. So if I wanted to save this on an external hard drive, that's when I would modify my storage location over here. But I'm just gonna do it all on my desktop. So I'm gonna start a new project, and I'm gonna say how to use Final Cut. Perfect. And what it does is it automatically starts a file here. Then uh, my next task is to import that folder that I created before I started editing anything. And I'm just going to import my media. And uh, it has my desktop option here. I'm going to uh, click import all because all of my files are down here. Perfect. Uh, the other the other thing I wanted to mention is when uh, starting a new project, uh, when you create your new project, uh, you have um, options right here. So uh, whether you're going to use 4K video, um, the frame rate, that's uh, really important. I would always suggest 20. 23.98, like 24 frames a second. Your rendering codex is uh, Apple ProRes 422. That's probably the best and uh, easiest option. And in stereo. So those are the options that I had previously picked. So here is the video that I'm going to be creating. And here are all of my files in sort of order. And so what I would start doing is I would probably import a few clips. So I'm just going to import this clip. And this goes right on my timeline. And as you see it on my timeline, uh, you can watch it over in the corner as I bring my cursor over. If I want to zoom in and have uh, see more of my clip, I just two finger pull out or two finger squeeze in to make my timeline bigger and smaller. All of my options for my video are right over here. So if I wanted to zoom in on something or zoom out, um, I can do that. And then um, I'm going to import another clip. I'll import a Go GoPro clip um, to show you. So I'm bringing that onto my timeline, but notice how it is not as wide. So that's when I would go over to my options and I would zoom in so that it fits the whole size of my video. Otherwise, uh, it's too small and you would have those black bars on the edges. So I'm going to zoom in to 140%, 140%. 
141. And then I'm just going to bring down some more clips and I'm just going to bring them over. And uh, before I get too far into my project, usually I would then bring in a video uh, audio clips, so like music or something, and a lot of the times I will edit on the beat. Um, so, so what I would do is on this clip I will go modify and I will make it faster. So to speed it up, I'm going to go 400% and I want that to change right on the highest part of the music. And then I'm going to also do the same thing on this clip here with remote control car and sort of end it on the highest part of the music here and I'm also going to lower the audio same with on this clip it's on Lake Ontario uh, me taking photos of Madeline and so I'm just going to cut my clip here onto the beat and then I've got a couple of video clips just samples of her cycling I'm just going to zoom in then I can make sure my cuts are really nice. And then I'm going to get a nice one of her cycling here. It's one second. I'm gonna shorten it up. Um, I, I like this clip because it's a different angle. I'm gonna put that here. And I'm just gonna shorten it up to hit on the beat and then I like this shot too, so I'm just going to bring this in. All right, so now I've got a bunch of clips in there. They don't really make sense yet, but at least that shows you my workflow and how I edit. Uh, let's To preview what I've got on my video, I just will make it big. And here I noticed that uh, the GoPro footage wasn't enlarged. And that's what I've got so far. So I'm just gonna go onto my GoPro footage here and make sure I enlarge it. So if it's the whole screen. And I just repeat this process until my video is done and it looks good. I hope you learned a little bit about uh, my workflow uh, a couple of my editing techniques and uh, how to use. Uh, once I'm fully finished my video, say I was done there, I would just cut my music. So uh, go on here onto the, the music and then I would go control B is the shortcut that uh, cuts the clip. I'm gonna cut the clip here and fade it out the music. I would then go file, share and here are your sharing options. So I'm just gonna go Apple devices, 4K video, and I would go export. That's the title of it. It's gonna be 45 megabytes uh, next. And then I would just save it into, on my uh, desktop, I've got finished videos. I've got video projects, uh, but I would save it in my finished video projects. And then how to use Final Cut okay and then it will start exporting that's my workflow that's how i use final cut pro i hope you learned a little bit and remember no colt walks alone thanks for watching